Good morning guys and welcome back to the vlog. Yes, I know. I know I have been gone a long time and I promise I have a perfectly good reason. I know I said that while I'm going to be working at home, I would be uploading vlogs on Tuesday, Thursday, and then my regular video on Saturday and I did not do any of that this week. And that is because my memory card failed. It gave this error of like cannot be read. My computer wouldn't like even recognize it in the computer. My camera wouldn't recognize it. I tried it on Colin's computer. It wouldn't recognize it there and it was just such a a huge thing and then I tried to fix it and I got it to work on the camera but then my computer still couldn't read it and being a dumb youtuber I do not have a backup memory card <laughs> and so my computer was not able to read the memory card therefore I could not upload the footage to iMovie to actually edit any vlogs or videos so I just went a whole week without filming <laughs> as soon as my memory card broke I did order a new one but with everything going on Amazon is very very delayed in its shipments which is totally fine I totally understand that but it did take over a week to get my memory card so yes, that is the whole story of why I have not uploaded anything. I actually really, really wanted to and I really missed holding the camera and making videos for you guys because that is what I do for fun. Like this is just a fun activity for me. It's not my job in any way. I just really enjoy making videos and that's just like what I do in my free time for fun. So I really, really missed it this week. I am just so happy to be back. I am so excited and today we are just going to do a regular vlog, a what I do in a day during social distancing. I just finished getting ready I actually need to go up to my dad's best friend's property up in North Scottsdale I'm kind of like his property manager he has a tenant that's been leasing his place and I just need to do a move out inspection for them so I will be leaving soon to do that and I was gonna straighten my hair today because I thought it was looking ratchet but actually it looks pretty dang good it's kind of just like you know like casual waves also I did something crazy last weekend and while I was watching a movie with Colin I literally cut my hair I don't know if you guys can tell Tell about these little pieces right here I cut these so that they would like frame my face more when I put my hair up in a ponytail they were just super grown out and I didn't have any like short pieces in the front to like hang down so I decided to give these guys a trim this one is definitely shorter than this one but you know it's fine I think it turned out pretty good I just finished eating breakfast and cleaning up the kitchen and now I'm going to make my bed start some laundry and then I think it's gonna be time to go I got this new white blanket off of Amazon because I was really tired of that blue one. I just really don't like it anymore. I was getting really tired of every time I take a mirror pick, I would switch out the blue blanket for my huge white comforter. But I live in Arizona and honestly, my apartment just like retains heat like no other. It is so hard to get it cool in here. So I honestly almost never use my comforter anymore because it's just way too hot. But I really wanted a white background on my bed in my mirror pick photo. So I would literally take this blanket off and bring out my white comforter put it on the bed take my photo and put it back in the closet and it was so annoying so I finally just got a white blanket that's nice and thin for the bed so that I don't have to do that and I have a nice background you can tell Ringo really likes it he's gonna get this color fur all over it can you just like only shed this fur like this fur is fine it matches the blanket well buddy's trying to find a place to sit <laughs> So funny, look at him. Ah, it already looks so good. I love it. I'm so happy that I got this and it's super, super soft. I made sure that it was the same texture as my blue one. If you guys wanna get it, I'll link it down below. It was just from Amazon and it was like only $30 or something. So really good price. Also, I ordered something very exciting for this wall. So you guys will just have to stay tuned in another vlog for when this arrives. And he finally picked a spot. All right, so I just got back from the house up north and look at what I got. I got paper towels and toilet paper. Since nobody's gonna be staying up there for a while, they're still like looking for somebody to lease it out again. I thought, you know, no one's there. No one needs this toilet paper and paper towels that's sitting up there, so I might as well use it. I got two rolls of paper towels and a six pack of toilet paper. I'm not out of toilet paper yet, and we actually did already have one more roll of paper towels, but we go through paper towels a lot more quickly than I thought, and we're also kind of running out of toilet paper since I'm home so much more now with not going into work and not going to the gym, so we need a little bit more toilet paper. I didn't like completely clean out the house. There's still like 
one more roll of paper towels and quite a few more rolls of toilet paper. So if I need more, I can go up there and get it. I didn't want to be too greedy and I'll definitely replace it all. But right now, we really need this stuff. And then I'm also drinking one of these bubblies that I got in my last grocery haul. And it's interesting. I mean, it definitely tastes like a LaCroix. It's like the exact same thing, which I guess I should have expected. I don't know. I don't really like LaCroix because I feel like the flavor isn't like potent enough. It just tastes like weird water and this one's strawberry and it just tastes really artificial so i don't know if i'm really digging it i probably won't buy them again but now i have to finish all of the ones that i bought and i'm making some lunch right now i'm cooking some rice and then i'm just gonna combine the rice with some leftovers in the fridge which i did in my what i eat in a day so since i was not able to post a video today today is saturday so i would have been posting a video normally but since the whole memory card thing happened i wasn't able to get up a video for you guys so instead i filmed a what i eat in a day on my iphone and posted it on igtv and that just went live like a few hours ago so if you guys want to check out a what i eat in a day go to my instagram and check that out this is my lunch you look so pretty. I'm just going to add on some coconut aminos. Mostly to the rice and the broccoli because the meat is already seasoned really well. And then we're going to add some Red Hot because what meal is complete without Red Hot? And the lunch is served. I'm super excited. It looks very yummy. So Colin and I actually need to go to the grocery store. He's the one that's mostly out of things, but I need to pick up a few things too. So we are on our way to Walmart. Of course, on the way to Walmart, Colin wants Chick-fil-A. We need the spicy chicken sandwich <laughs> and it's not Sunday. Every time we want Chick-fil-A, it's always Sunday. Yeah, well, that's always when we want Chick-fil-A breakfast, which obviously we're not getting. We're getting lunch, but yep, got a spicy chicken sandwich. Of course, I just ate lunch too, like literally right before we left, but you know, I got some room left. We can squeeze. There's always room for more chicken. <laughs> you know what this reminds me of? Is our drive through challenge that we did. That was so much fun. Best part about Chick-fil-A is their pickles. They are so freaking good. We're just gonna eat in the Walmart parking lot and then go get some groceries. So we thought there was a line to get in, but they were actually just regulating people legitimately being six feet apart. So you had to like wait for the next person to go six feet and then you were allowed to go inside. I got all excited thinking that there was chicken, but it was literally just all legs and thighs. So they do not have chicken breasts yet at Walmart. So we got a rotisserie chicken instead. We got a full cart. I know it doesn't look like it's very healthy, but you know what? Most of this is for Colin, so it's not my fault. So this morning, I threw that blue blanket in the washer so that I can wash it and put it away since I won't be using it anymore, but I went to go put it in the dryer right now, and then I realized I still had a whole bunch of laundry in the dryer. Ever since I moved into an apartment that has a washer dryer in the actual unit, I literally never take my stuff out of the dryer. Like as soon as I put it in there, let it dry, I don't touch it until I'm literally drying another load. So now I have to fold this stuff when I didn't plan on it. Something that I really want to do today is organize my legging drawer. I just have way too many leggings to store them the way that I currently have, like stacked on top of each other. I really need to be able to see all of them all at once and not have anything buried. So I figure I might as well do it now while I'm not doing anything. So this is the current status of this drawer. I also just got two new pairs of joggers over here. So now it's like really jam packed, but these are all the leggings. Everything is very neatly folded. It's just not in a way that I can access things. So I really want to reorganize this so it's a lot more functional. Basically, we're going to go full Marie Kondo on this drawer, so let's get started. I started by organizing the leggings into piles of what brand they are from. These are the new joggers I just got. These are two random brands. I think that's Revolve and then Love Fitness. These are the Sarah's Day leggings that I have. Then we have all my Able leggings, my joggers from Free People, my only pair of sweatpants I've ever owned, my etched leggings, and then another different kind of pair of etched leggings, my Lulu's, my Gymshark. This one is Aloe, and then these are just some like flowy pants. That's all random high school crap that I'm not willing to get rid of, so that's all gonna stay there but 
this step, we are now going to fold and put in the drawer. I can't decide if I want to organize them by brand or by color, so we'll just have to play around and see what works. It's done. I can't believe I finally did this. This is gonna make grabbing leggings so much easier. So the way I did it was all of the extra crap that's in the back over there. These are the new joggers that I ordered, but these are actually too small and they were literally so cheap that it wasn't even worth returning them. So I just kept them and like they do fit. They're just a little tight around my thighs, which is not how I want my sweatpants. So we have just regular sweatpants over here and then we have joggers over here. And then in the back, I have my least worn leggings, which is actually my Lulu's because I have not bought Lulu's in like five to seven years or so. They're like really, really old pairs. And then this line of the etch ones, I just don't like as much, so I don't really wear them that often. Then we kind of just have random brands. We have Love Fitness. I really like these, but they are like mid-rise, so I don't wear them as often. And then these are my aloes, which I love, but they're just not the most practical for actually working out. These are more like lounge leggings. And then the rest of these guys are my most worn. That's why I wanted them right up front. Obviously, my Gymshark are my favorites, especially the flex leggings so the flex leggings are all up front and then of course I love my Sarah's Day active wear so these are pretty close up to the front too. I actually really like this pair. I think the brand is a Love Wave from Revolve. I freaking love this set. It is so cute and I love the fabric of these leggings. And then lastly all of my Able stuff is up front and then the line of etch stuff that I really do like. It's like this ribbed line. I think it's the Arise Comfort. I think it was. I really like these. The only downside is they didn't come with a matching sports bra. I have the matching long sleeve crop top but not a sports bra so I don't wear them as often just because of that but then I do have matching tops for all of my able stuff and I love all these colors so I wear these pretty often too so that is my new legging drawer I am so proud it looks amazing. All right, so I just finished filming a TikTok. I did start a TikTok this past week because I was literally that bored. I told myself I would never even download the app and look at me now, I got like five TikToks. If you guys wanna follow me, it's just the same username as my Instagram and it's a good time, it's pretty funny. I actually used to dance for most of my childhood so it's kind of really fun for me to just like get back in the dancing mood. But holy smokes, I am so tired. I have like a stomach cramp from like eating too much food and then dancing a whole bunch. Like I am dying right now. I had to take a break to stop sweating so that I could actually film it. I literally put on these joggers just for the video because I was wearing this sports bra and they are literally drenched. Like this waistband is full of sweat. Like I already need to wash those. Honestly, I'm probably just gonna search what TikTok dance I wanna learn next for the next like hour because I literally have nothing to do. So yeah, I'll catch you guys later. So I am just sitting in bed right now watching some YouTube. I just finished my dinner. Pretty much just going to call it a night now. I'm probably going to brush my teeth soon and go to bed. So that is it for today's vlog. Thank you so much for tuning in and being patient with me because I didn't post this whole past week. But I promise more content is coming and I'm so excited to vlog and make videos for you guys this week. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.